you'll be shocked. Some people who own XRP Ripple are becoming millionaires thanks to the CEO of Coinbase, one of the biggest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. What you're hearing sounds crazy, but trust me, this is only the beginning. Now that the court case against the Securities and Exchange Commission may be over, the most bullish signs of all time are showing up every day. That movie is the most important thing for anyone who owns XRP Ripple. You'll be sorry you missed that. Let's get right to the point without any more. Nonsense. Disclaimer, both Coinbase and Ripple are having legal and regulatory problems in the US. However, the cryptocurrency exchange has relaunched XRP trading in New York. This is seen by many as another victory for Ripple against the Securities and Exchange Commission. Coinbase has made XRP trading available to the 20 million residents of New York. The crypto trading platform's chief legal officer, Paul Gruel, shared the good news in an ex-post a few days ago. Coinbase has been in a legal battle against the SECCC since June 2023, when the regulator accused the exchange of acting as an unregistered national securities exchange, broker and clearing agency and failing to register the offer of its staking as a service program. Coinbase took XRP off its U.S. markets in January 2021, after the SEC said Ripple sold XRP unfairly and made more than $1.3 billion, and what the agency called an offering of securities that wasn't recorded. But in July 2023, Judge Annalisa Torres said that Ripple did not break federal securities law when it sold XRP on public exchanges. However, she said that when it sold XRP directly to institutional clients, those sales were investment contracts, which means that there will be more court processes that have not yet ended. Coinbase's decision to relist XRP is a big deal in the current case between Ripple and the SEC. It shows that people are more confident in XRP's regulatory status and that big exchanges are ready to deal with the uncertainties of U.S. crypto regulation. Paul Gruwell said that the choice to relist XRP was made with the support of the government. This suggests that Ripple and other blockchain technologies may be accepted by more people and regulators may change how they feel about them. This move has important effects on a larger scale. Most likely, Ripple's partial court win played a part in Coinbase's choice. Other companies and financial institutions might change their minds about how they feel about XRP because of this move. This could lead to a bigger market comeback for the cryptocurrency. Ripple has had a lot of legal problems along the way, but it keeps showing that it can handle them. When large exchanges like Coinbase first took XRP off their lists, it had a big effect on its market value and how people thought about it. But Ripple's partly legal win and relisting on Coinbase show that it can bounce back and change, despite the fact that there is still friction between new cryptocurrency ideas and the rules that govern them. Judge Torres's difference between public sales and institutional sales of XRP could have an effect on future decisions and rules made by the government. This case could make lawmakers tighten and clarify the rules that govern cryptocurrencies, making the world a safer and more stable place for business and new ideas. The move by Coinbase could be seen as a big step forward for the whole Bitcoin market. As a result, everyone in the business is looking forward to better rules in hopes that recent changes in the law will make the way for a clearer, more helpful set of rules. This could help the Bitcoin market in the U.S. grow and become more stable. Relisting XRP on Coinbase in New York is a big step forward for Ripple and could be seen as another victory over the SEC. This change could have an effect on how markets work and how rules are enforced. That the cryptocurrency business is taking a cautious but hopeful step forward. There will be a lot of attention on these events and what they mean for the future of digital assets in the U.S. as the court case goes on. What is going on with the court case against the SECC at Ripple right now? There is a chance that the trial will end this month. This could be the best sign ever for the bulls. Let's figure it out. With help from lawyer James Murphy, Let's look at how possible changes in who leads us regulators might affect the current court case between Ripple Labs and the SEC. Murphy wasn't sure if settling with the SEC would be a good idea the way things are going now. He told X, I wouldn't settle any crypto case with the current sexy until I saw how the election turns out. He talked about what might happen if the people in charge changed. He said, given what Trump and Kennedy are saying, I would expect a very different SEC under open-minded leadership like Hester Pierce or similar Pierce who goes by the name Crypto Mom, is well known in the crypto world for having strong opinions that support a more flexible approach to crypto regulation. Murphy thought that a new CC leadership could bring about big changes, such as the voluntary dismissal of crypto cases that the Gary Gensler government started, but where there was no fraud and no victims. Recently, there have been signs that the Biden government is becoming less strict about cryptocurrencies. This change comes after the US. President Trump made his support for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies clear by saying, I will make sure that the future of crypto and Bitcoin will be made in the USA. I will back giving the 50 million crypto holders in the country the right to self-custody. Liz Warren and her thugs will not be able to get to your Bitcoin. In response to these political moves by Biden's opponent, uh, 
the administration has taken a softer stance by approving a spot Ethereum ETF. This is seen as a big step forward because the government had been hesitant to approve crypto ETFs in the past because of concerns about market volatility and investor protection. When asked what this softer stance might mean, why? For the Ripple case, Murphy was careful to say that this was not about the court case, but about changes in the way things are run. He said that Judge Torres' decision should not be affected by the recent change in the Biden administration's position on crypto. He stressed the importance of the independence of the courts. He did say, though, that this might change the SEC's stance in possible settlement talks, which suggests that the talk about X also included strategy issues for Ripple, because future governments are hard to predict. One user said that settling might be a good idea. A devil you know is better than a devil you don't know, they said. Murphy understood why this cautious strategy was important, but he stayed neutral and said, I hear you. I don't think Ripple should do anything or not do anything. As the legal fight goes on, it is very important to think about what might happen if the people in charge of regulations change. It's not just a big deal for Ripple that XRP is back on Coinbase in New York. It could also be a turning point for the Bitcoin world as a whole. Ripple and other crypto companies might be able to operate in a better setting if new leadership leads to more progressive regulatory approaches. In the long run, this could change how markets work, how rules are enforced, and the future of digital assets in the U.S. We have been waiting a long time for this decision, and it was clear that the experts could not ignore such a welcome sign of growth. Experts already know that this month, the price of XRP Ripple will go over its all-time high. There is talk about how many XRP coins you need to make your first million dollars. This is too important to miss. If the price of XRP goes back up to almost four dollars, people who invest in it today could get gains of more than 600%. A few good news stories about XRP this week, but its price has stayed the same at about 53 cents. When you look at the last 30 days, XRP has only grown by 2%, stuck around 50 cents for a long time. Supporters, on the other hand, are always sure that the asset will move quickly. To this end, a well-known XRP commentator recently explained what profit targets XRP users can expect when the all-time high of $3.84 for reached again. In particular, this analysis shows what the possible returns would be for wallets keeping between 5,000 and 300,000 XRP if the asset eventually goes up by 618% to almost four, a dollar. Since XRP is currently worth about 53 cents, people who want to buy 5,000 XRP can do so for just $2,673. It would be worth about $19,000 if the price goes through the roof, giving you a return of over $16,000. Similarly, someone who spends $21,000 today to buy 40,000 XRP could see their investment grow to over $153,000 if XRP goes back to its old high point. Investors who own 80,000 XRP Ripple tokens today can expect a similarly impressive yield. It's expected that the 80,000 XRP stock will be worth $307,000 in a few years, even though it only costs $42,700 right now. Wallets that hold between 150,000 and 300,000 XRP right now could become millionaires very soon, as long as XRP stays above its previous high point. Right now, it takes more than $80,000 to buy 150,000 XRP. It would get worth $576,000 over time. In the same way, 300,000 XRP, which costs $160,000 now, would be worth more than a million dollars in the same circumstances. When the bull market starts up again, many altcoins are likely to follow bitcoins, lead and hit new highs for the cycle. But some assets, like XRP, have been sitting on the sidelines for years. Its all-time high was set six years ago. Because XRP hasn't done well for a long time, market analysts say it has a strong case to not only break its all-time high of $3.84 for, but also hit double-digit price levels like $20, even though these predictions were positive, XRP's recent performance has not supported this upbeat view. And now, the only question is, what do you think about that? Do you think XRP Ripple will go 